you can't see it YouTube but there's a ring fort in there a ring fort is like um, you see the trench already can you see the kind of trench with a big mound on top in the opening here another trench and an opening in the middle I suppose well, a thousand years ago, fifteen hundred years ago, people used to live in something like this. If you can imagine, there was a big a timber post driven in along here, up the big fence all the way around. All the way around, it's big. It's a fairly big area, like but you can't see it for the forest. The last time I was here, I discovered this. You see, kind of moan. And then in the middle, under somebody's house, you'd find something like this. If you can see, see the stones? This is a tunnel. It's actually collapsed now, but you can uh, You can barely see the, the back of it just collapsed. <sighs> the tunnel will go underneath here. Still is underneath there, I'd say. And there's more of a collapse than there, see? You can see where and it went around in a half soccer then. There's the back of it, this is really overgrown here. Oh, hold on, for that. The tunnel used to be and it's collapsed. Sometimes you used to have underneath this area here. There would have been a house of some sort. Stone house, thatched roof. And he was he sometimes used to use these as escape tunnels. Or used to hide down inside them when people used to attack. Oh. This is the back of it now. Like. Another big ditch. These things are ancient, these are I don't know, 1500. Thousand years old, maybe. Back in the Bronze Age. I should think, Sam. It's cool. It's cool, isn't it? I went in there already. There's some rocks coming down, so I went back out. You shouldn't really go in there. It's hard collapsing, isn't it? Yeah. This is strange for us, me, you to be usually the ones I go into where I am. They're kind of coniferous ones, you know, those evergreen ones. These are all native Irish species here. But you can, if you can see the ramp along the side. It's very well preserved. I wonder how they did it. How they dig it, they dug a hole. And they put stones and ramp, put stones up around the outside. Then they filled in over the top. That was somebody's house there, something on top of that. Whoa. Anyway, YouTube, I'll bring it back when I'm... It's a big enough place, Sam, isn't it, now? I'm sorry the camera doesn't give you, what could you say, a good view of it is, as I'm showing it to you, like. The hole, the hole in the middle of the ground can really stir your interest as soon as you pop in here to have a look. But the ring, geez, it must be 100, about oh, 200 feet wide here. It goes around the arm circle, and this is the entrance. See, there's the beginning of one bank, there's the beginning of the other bank. That's the start of the trench on that side. 
just the start of the trench on this side. I'll bring it back when we're by the river and we'll be having something to eat, hopefully. And hopefully, the rain has stopped. When I came out <laughs> about 20 minutes ago, lovely and sunny, and then it started to rain. We're gonna take a walk up here to the river now. Well, up and then down the other side into the valley. Alright, Sam? Yep. Let's go. See you in a minute, YouTube. Anyway, YouTube, the tea's on. No lighting fire today. I got this little pocket stove thing. Tiny little thing. Great. The water's boiling already. Oh, shit. The water's boiled, as we said. Turns down. Down. Oh, it's boiling, isn't it? It's marble warm, we say. Oh, that's hot. Wasn't that hot, Sam? Yeah, it was. Look at it. And I chopped the tap quick, as, as you can hear, it's kind of a bit showery today. And this is the lovely spot I picked the stuff. Couldn't be any nicer, could it? Anyway, YouTube, back to you in a minute when the rashes are on. <laughs> rashes and bacon. Oh, sorry. Bacon and sausages, Sam. Yummy. Bacon and sausage, <laughs> yummy. Tea bags now next. Can you see them, YouTube? Oh, yeah. The sausage is on. Tea is done. Rashes are waiting for the turn. <laughs> are they waiting for the turn, Sam? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ready to be eaten. What do you mean eating? We're going to gently sort him and it's a nice bit of... Oh, that's Didn't a thorn there. I'll have to bring you back in my YouTube when the rashes are in. <sighs> oh, I never turned it off. See YouTube, time to turn them. Before I go YouTube, I'd just like to show you this camouflage. This new camouflage. Lovely Gore-Tex jacket, look. The Irish flag. This is Irish Army standard issue combat and Gore-Tex jacket. I got these from a family friend. It's called, sometimes it's known as Paddy Flage. Paddy <laughs> Flage, I don't know what. But anyway, look. I don't see you think to see many YouTubers in Irish Army combat. Look, and look at the, the back of the jacket. Can you get that, Sam? Seen it? But anyway, YouTube, I'm used to using uh, English Army Combat, but it's nice to finally get some Irish Army Combat. Especially in the day like today, it was raining this morning when we came out here. Yeah? Now it's kind of sunny, Sam, isn't it? Yeah, Dad. I've never shown you this hat. It's a, it's a, a kangaroo hat by boy. Oh, sorry. It's made in Australia. Lovely, fine Australian finest leather hats. And the wife got it for me one Christmas and I said it's that way in my videos. I think Sam. Cool then. Ready to go for a walk again, we? Yep. Alright then, bud. Take care, YouTube. My fabulous new Paddy Flash. <laughs> <laughs> Paddy Flash. Paddy Flash. See you guys. See you guys. This is Aunt at Solar Bushcraft signing off. Hello again, YouTube. I just thought I'd show you this. The blue wells. It just looks like it's a cap of blue, right? Like. Isn't Sam? Yeah. It just looks beautiful. <laughs> no, it's like it's just straight. I just thought I'd show you. The sun is shining, too, huh? The sun is shining. It's a lovely day now. After the show I had before. Thank you, YouTube. Beautiful, isn't it? Head on. I think Sam, they're cool, aren't they? Yeah, I haven't seen anything like it in my life. What? I haven't seen anything like it in my life. A carpet of bluebells, Sam. They're called bluebells. Even though they're kind of, kind of purpley, light purple. 
anyway youtube until next time